Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is the track, Hell You Call a Dream, by The Warning. What I've done here is I've put together the official lyric video with the official new release of the live video, back to back, and you guys can decide which one you like better, what you think of both of them, what their performances are like, if I'm crazy in my reaction reviews, if, or if I'm spot on. Probably crazy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy both versions. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. What's better than having one new release? By the warning in a day, it's two. And this is their second release today. It's a track called Hell You Call a Dream. And this is the lyric video. I did enjoy that other one a lot, the other release today. I thought it was a super kick-ass rock song. And I'm hoping the same for this. Let's jump and do it together. Let's see what these ladies put together for our ears to listen to. <laughs> Let's do this. say this one was written by Allie because uh, this is the lyrics that she seems to write uh, in her other tracks it's always this uh, I don't want to say uh, deprecation type stuff is that the wrong word but it's very uh, personal maybe that's a better way to put it a lot of angst and troubles and stuff so anyway I think this is probably written by Allie 
And I think it's great. I really do. I really enjoyed it. I think the song sounds tough, man. All the guitars. Tough ass guitar. <laughs> this is my tough ass guitar. My tough ass guitar. I like the bass accompaniment. And what I really liked about it, again, is I think this is back to the girls writing their music and not using these other writers. I prefer that. I like what they're doing. I thought it was neat that they're writing together, working together as sisters, as a camp. I thought it was all cool. And that's what I'm hearing again in both of these new releases today. I may be wrong. If so, please let me know. But I bet you I'm right. I think this is probably them putting together what they did. And that's why so many of us are warning fans, because it's good. It's really, really good. So straight rock song, awesome hooks. I liked where the song went. Again, I want to hear it live. But... It's cool. That Give me something to believe. That That's a really great line. And the way they deliver it was awesome. So I think that this could become one of their biggest hits because it's a cool track. That's, I really like it. So anyway, what do you guys think is... Assuming Allie wrote this, is uh, what do you guys think of her lyrics? Since this is a lyric video, is she improving as a lyricist? You know, is it too much? Is it too personal? Is it not as interesting to you guys? I think it's just fine. But it's always nice to hear what other people are thinking as these ladies continue to grow as awesome musicians. Guys, thank you ever so much. I look forward to the next one. Hopefully, it's a live video from The Warning. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is a request from Matt, one of my Patreon members. It is a Warning release that came out recently i'm kind of hesitant in saying it because it's actually fan shot i believe and so it's not really a release of theirs but it is a new performance of theirs at least to me i would never heard this track it's called hell you called a dream it is live so we'll give it a go together hopefully the recording quality and whatnot's pretty good i kind of prefer to do the ones that are released by the bands and not necessarily the people in the audience I also sort of wish the people in the audience would focus on their performance rather than recording it on their phone. So I'm hesitant about these, but let's give it a go and let's see what we got. Hopefully it's a good recording and I'm sure it'll be a good performance. Let's do this.
Cool track. I'd love to hear a better version of it. The phone actually did pretty well. You know, the problem I have with watching the phone is what I stated before the video. Guys, you know, live in the moment. Enjoy the show. You paid to be there. It's also a big deal to be there. You can't see these ladies play all the time. Don't worry about recording the moment. Live the moment. Uh, that being said, <laughs> the person who shot this did a pretty decent job. The zoom in and zoom out was a little bad. And then canvassing the stage. And you got to just focus, lock it, and leave it. It is what it is. But uh, the performance itself, the hook was really strong. And I thought Danny was really awesome as a front person here. So with any luck, the band might release their own version of this with proper sound and maybe some nice uh, editing and some good cuts and all the other stuff that makes a performance stand out. But it really does show you how strong they are as a band and I bet it was a really, really good show. So thank you for sharing, Matt. I appreciate it. I do look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.